About 100,000 nurses left the workforce due to pandemic related to burnout and stress survey finds. CNN About 100,000 registered nurses in the U.S. left the workplace due to the stresses of the COVID-19 pandemic, according to the research of the survey published Thursday by the National Council of the State Board of Nursing. For Another 610,388 600, registered nurses who had more than 10 years of experience and an average age of 57 said they planned to leave the workforce by 2027 because of stress, burnout, or retirement. The same was true of 189. Thousand additional nurses with 10 or fewer years of experience and an average age of 36. The survey found that there were over 5.2 million active registered nurses and 973,788 licensed practical nurses or vocational nurses in the U.S. in 2022. The researchers analyzed the data from 29,472 registered and advanced nurses and more than 24,000 licensed practical or vocation, vocational nurses across the 45 states. More than a quarter of those surveys said that they plan to leave the industry or retire in the next five years. In the next five years, the study says. About 62% of the nurses surveyed said that their workload increased during the pandemic, and 50.8% said that they felt emotionally drained at work. Almost half of nurses said that they felt fatigued or burned out. 49.7% and 45.1% respectively. These concerns were seen most in nurses with less than 10 years of experience. Marion Alexander, Chief Officer of Nursing Reg Regulation at the NCSBN and one of the authors of this study, said that she is shocked by the findings of the study, especially related to the younger nurses. Soon, the industry will rely on nurses with less than 10 years or experience to act as mentors, managers, and leaders in nursing care, Alexander said. It will send us into a health care crisis of huge proportions, Alexander said. She said that while it is common to see young nurses leaving the industry to go back to school and get more education, it is uncommon to see young nurses living due to stress and burnout. That is a huge cause for concern, Alexander said. This exhausted tone was a driving factor behind the strike in New York in January, when over 7,000 nurses took to the street to call the attention to staffing shortage and burnt out. We are sick and sick and tired of the hospital only doing the bare minimum, said Danny Fuentes, a union officer who spoke to the crowd during the strike. Time and time again, we are forced to take on safe patient loads. We are humans and we are burned out and we are tired and the hospital doesn't seem to care. All they see are profits. We don't want to be out here. We would much rather be with our patient. We need a fair contract to protect our patient. The strike ended when the New York State Nurses Association reaches the tentative deals with the two hospitals involved, Mountain Sinai Health System and Montefiore Health System. The union said the deal would provide the info enforceable safe staffing ratios for all inpatient un units at Mount Sinai and Montefiore. Montefiore agreed to finance penalties for failing to comply with the agreed open staffing levels in all units. 
The researchers on the new survey said that their findings pose a threat to the U.S. workforce, especially among younger and less experienced nurses. The National Council of State Boards of Nursing says hospitals and policymakers should be quick to enact, enact solutions and address these challenges. CNS Chris Isidore, Chris Boyet, and Artemis Mushtagian contributed to this report.